Hello, beautiful new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Hello, beautiful returning subscribers. Welcome back and welcome to my new apartment. Yes, that's right. I moved to an apartment. I've been talking about that for a while, but I finally did it. And yes, I'm still figuring out my um, filming setup. I'm currently kneeling on the floor. Um, I think this isn't ideal. So also has some whitening strips, Luminex. Get you some of those. They're nice. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. I'll be right back for a few minutes. <laughs> Got the whitening strips off. I actually also just had a guy install my Wi-Fi. So I got Wi-Fi now. Woo! We're really getting set up. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about is what am I doing on this channel, right? So I started posting YouTube shorts. If you didn't see them, check them out. Basically, it's just my content from TikTok repurposed. Also on Instagram Reels, so be sure to follow me on all my platforms. Here's my TikTok, here's my Instagram. Of course, subscribe on YouTube, turn on notifications so we can hang out. These videos are gonna be very casual. It's gonna be a good place for you to get to know me. Anyway, so today I'm gonna give you a little apartment tour. And yes, I'm going to make the background prettier, I promise. I'm still getting settled in. We'll figure it out. No outlets in this apartment, but you know, it's a process. It's gonna be fun. Today I'm doing a q and I posted this on my Instagram. You guys gave me some questions. I'm gonna answer them. Thank you to everybody who threw a question my way, as I say in almost every video. So let's go. Speed round, icebreaker, whatever you wanna call it. Let's do it. Number one, how old am I? I am 23. There we go. Got that one right out of the way. Number two, favorite subjects in school. So I graduated college a little over a year ago. My favorite subjects in school school. So we'll, we'll go with high school. My favorite subjects in high school. Art has always been my favorite subject. Science is interesting to me. Math, I was good at it, but I hated it. Yeah, that's about it. Moved it closer. I feel like I was like really far away. All right, I repositioned that a little bit. We're just getting started here, okay? This is gonna go smoother next time. So question number three, my favorite show. I'm gonna have to give you three because I have a lot of favorites. Dexter, The Office, New Girl. Two of which have been removed from Netflix. But uh, I still watch New Girl. I'm a rewatcher. When I find a series I like, I rewatch it a lot of times. And the fourth question of the speed round, this one's pretty interesting. The question is, what would I do with 100 penguins? This is a real, a real thinker. Mm. Well, penguins are cute. I would definitely hang out with the penguins. I would pet the penguins. Maybe, you know, go sledding with the penguins. Probably take a few pictures with the penguins. Selfies with the penguins. But yeah, interesting question and a good way to end the icebreaker speed round. So now we're on to some deep and intense questions. So the first, I'm gonna kind of group these ones together because a lot of people ask me about coffee, about Dunkin', about Starbucks, which one I like better. So... The first question of the coffee questions. Do I like Starbucks or Dunkin' better? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna show you something. Need I say more? But to be honest, yes, I like Dunkin' better. Um, and also shout out to Dunkin'. Thank you so much, Dunkin', for sending these. They sent me uh, two long sleeve t-shirts that say Hallie Runs and Dunkin'. They spelled my name right. So they win, Dunkin' wins. For anybody that didn't know, didn't see it in here. Duncan won, they got it right on the shirt. Uh, they also sent me some gift cards and a nice little handwritten note. So thank you, Duncan. Still like Starbucks, by the way. Next question is, how many have spelled my name right? I know some people don't believe me. Like I get comments all the time that I'm faking these videos, but I, I swear on my life, nobody has gotten it right without a hint or without knowing me. I mean, people have gotten it right when they've seen my social media or I tell them obviously how to spell it or I'm a repeat customer and they remember me. And then of course the one Starbucks one when I told them my name and clearly Duncan saw my name on TikTok. With no hint, no context, nobody has gotten it right. It hasn't happened. And that's the craziest part about it. And so the next question is, do I get annoyed when people spell my name wrong? Absolutely not at all. It's all fun and games. I actually think it's funny. Not mad at baristas. Clearly, it's just for fun. And then somebody asked, what is the longest I've gone without Starbucks or Dunkin'? If I'm being completely honest, I don't go every single day. It might seem that way from the videos, but I, when I film those, I go to the mall on the same day. So I'm just like, bang, 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 bang. I would probably say it. I've gone months. I have gone, hi, Hallie Smith, H-L-E-E, I, me. 
I have gone months without Dunkin' or Starbucks. Crazy as it sounds, it's true. So that was the last question pertaining to Starbucks and Dunkin'. But we did get a question about Siri videos. Am I still doing Siri video? The answer to that, it's a really up in the air, honestly. I don't do them regularly. I may throw one in here and there because it's a character on my channel. It's someone I can act well as. So, you know, Siri might pop in here and there. Hello. Siri? Okay, I'm back. It's important to remember that she's a character. She's not me. So, off to the next question. This one is exciting and leads into something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. What is my favorite sport? If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen my video where I was dribbling. I did uh, the Tussie Slide with my friend Joey, aka Sir Yacht, to answer your question. Basketball is my favorite sport. I did track and basketball in high school. I started the women's club basketball team in college. I played basketball competitively throughout college. I was on a varsity team, but so basketball has my heart. And with that, I wanna bring up an exciting point that I'm gonna start incorporating my athletic side onto my page. No, I'm not gonna become a fitness influencer where I'm teaching workouts, but I do have an exciting new series that I'm planning and that will be coming out soon. I'm not going to tell you the details of it, but I will tell you it involves a certain athletic challenge and or race. Next question, what is one thing that I regret? <sighs> That's a good one. Regret's a tricky thing. There are things that naturally I regret, but then again, in hindsight, I don't have any regrets. I've made mistakes and a lot, especially in the last year, I've made a lot of mistakes, but I don't regret them because they've really changed me in a good way. They've taught me a lot of lessons. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about my insecurities, my flaws, and I've overcame a lot of them. I've always been a people pleaser, somebody who really cares way too much what other people think, and somebody who, you know, and I, I don't wanna get it too much into this, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't have any regrets because even the mistakes that I could regret, they've gotten me to where I am right now. And even though I went through some of the hardest times in the past year that I've ever experienced and dealt with anxiety pretty severely, um, I wouldn't say I regret because I've grown into a stronger person. I feel like I can really tackle a lot of things in life now. I feel like I know how to handle sadness. I know how to handle anxiety. I'm not clearly an expert, but within myself, I've learned these things and I've learned how to cope and navigate them. And I plan to live my life to not have any regrets, even when you're making mistakes. Just remember that too. Your mistakes are getting you one step closer to where you're supposed to be. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Well, okay, that just got deep. So moving on, what is my biggest fear? This is also very deep and it's something that has actually really ties in with what I just started talking about. So it's perfect. My biggest fear, one of my biggest fears was being alone. And I set a goal as a new year's resolution this year that I was gonna overcome my fear of being alone. And I didn't know how I wanted to do that. I was gonna up and move. I was gonna up and move to LA. I was gonna up and move to I talked about Austin, Texas. I talked about somewhere, anywhere in Florida. I just wanted to overcome that fear, but I was having such severe anxiety. I knew that the mental state I was in, it wasn't realistic to make a big move. Have I overcome that fear? I wouldn't say 100%, but anybody that knows me personally, I have always told everybody that I could never live alone. I always needed to be around people. I always see, uh, sought after validation from other people. And I realized, I don't need that. You validate yourself. And I have come so far in terms of the whole loneliness thing, the fear of being alone. Um, so with that being said, I'm, I just moved in alone and I'm gonna give you guys a tour at the end of my apartment. I live alone in a studio. I'm well on my way to overcoming that fear. So another big fear that I have, I'm terrified of getting trapped in an airplane. I'm terrified of getting trapped in an elevator. Um, it's not necessarily claustrophobia where I'm scared of small spaces. It's when I feel stuck. That freaks me out. And the third big fear, spiders. <laughs> ah! Biggest fears right there, your top three. Number nine, we're gonna end on a lighter note before I give you guys a tour. Favorite place in the world? I have a few. Greece. I went to Greece, uh, oh God, 
three years ago now. Straight up best two weeks of my life. It was so beautiful, it was so fun. The people I went with, it was it was great. Um, so that's one of them. Another one, put in bay. It's so beautiful. You can see the sunset over the water. Not only is it beautiful, but it ties to home and where I grew up. Third, I would say is, oh gosh, I just remembered Costa Rica. There's a lot of my favorite places in the world. You guys, this is a tough one. Well, I'm just gonna tell you about all of them. What I was about to say was Florida. Florida's up there, Sarasota specifically. That's been my family's vacation spot. I love Sarasota, it's literally paradise. I wanna live there one day. So then I also mentioned Costa Rica. Costa Rica, I've never felt so zen in my life as I did when I was there for a week. I freaking loved Costa Rica. It was so pretty, it was so remote, just like unbelievable. And their coconut water, their freaking coconut water, let me tell you, you gotta try it. And you know what, while we're on a roll, I'm gonna tell you another one of my favorite places because I can't pick just one, and that is Switzerland. My uncle lives in Switzerland, and it is so nice there. There's hiking galore. It's very sustainable, it's very clean. The food is amazing. The public freaking transportation is so nice. You can literally get on a train and go anywhere. So now that I've given you my guide to travel, no, I'm kidding. Now that I've told you everywhere I've traveled basically because they're all my favorite places. All right, so there's nine questions to get to know me better based on your guys' questions from Instagram and Without further ado, I'm going to give you the grand tour of my new luxurious kidding, apartment. So, you say it, you say it, I wanna hear you say it. So, let's go. So intentionally, I don't have it perfect yet because in the next video, I wanna show you it after I have it finalized, after I have all my decorations up because they're not done yet. I still have to buy some more stuff, but I'll show you what it is so far. And then in my next, what is this, a vlog, Q&A, vlog, whatever you want to call it, I'll show you the glow up. Welcome to Hallie's apartment. Safety first. So here we are. We got some beautiful trash that I need to take care of. And we got our closet. Shoes. There we go. Now we come back over here. You got the dining room. It's a studio, so there's my little bed down on the floor. Some cute little decorations. Then there's where I was filming. I got my keyboard. I do my makeup over there. We got some more nice little view, beautiful lighting. Then of course, you come over, you got the closet. You got here I am, hi. This mirror, this other mirror, this other mirror. Apparently, apparently I like mirrors. I got my cute little tapestry. All right, so now we come over here. This is where I need a decoration. Here's my Wi-Fi, woo! There's my sweeper, cause I got a sweep. And then we come in here and we got the kitchen. The essentials only coffee is it really me if it's not coffee all right so then we got here we got the trash can we got the sweeper the fridge okay so now we're moving through the grand entrance into my office this is going to be my office clearly i don't have it set up yet now straight over from my office you got that's right the bathroom there's my robe. We got all the organizations. Ooh, there I am. So there you have it. My little studio apartment, my first apartment. I'm super excited about it and I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Hallie underscore Smith. If you're interested in business, I also got business handles. So TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, my three main platforms pumping out all the content. Feel free to throw any other questions you have down below. That is everything. That concludes the YouTube video. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.